If you're comfortable riding with others and are ready to take your group riding to the next level, then you'll need to know a few advanced techniques. If you need to brush up on the fundamentals, then check out our basic group riding video first. We're going to look at through and off and the single pace line, which are used for keeping a high pace over flat or rolling terrain. Most groups will alternate between the two techniques depending on the number of riders and the type of road. If you're in a group of six or more riders on roads where the local laws allow two abreast riding, then through and off is the best approach. This is an efficient way of keeping the speed of the group very high. The turns on the front are short and sharp, so riders can really push the pace, which is why you'll often see this technique used in breakaways during road races. A fast through and off is a constantly flowing efficient machine, consisting of a slow line and a fast line, it's a lot like the double pace line that you're probably familiar with, except the riders continually rotate instead of taking longer turns at the front. You'll be getting a brief moment of recovery whilst you're in the slow line and then driving the pace once you're back in the fast line. Try to keep these lines as close as possible as this helps the whole group slice through the air. Smoothness is key to keeping this safe and efficient. We're not looking for huge accelerations and decelerations in pace, just slight reductions or increases in effort. The most important action takes place at the front of the double pace line. As the rider in the fast line draws level with the rider in the slow line, the slow rider should ease off the pedals slightly to allow the fast rider to move over and slot in front of them. Just to emphasise, these are subtle changes in pace, so the slow line rider should not stop pedalling completely and the fast line rider should not accelerate through really hard. This will disrupt the flow of the group. This means whilst the turns on the front may be hard, they are also fairly brief, anything from 5 to 10 seconds, depending on the speed of rotation. Usually, you'll be expected to shout last rider when you rejoin the fast line. This lets the next person in the slow line know that it's safe to pull into the fast line once you're clear. The rotation of the group can be clockwise or anti-clockwise depending on the wind direction. If the wind is head on, either direction works, but if there's a crosswind, the slow line riders will shelter the fast line riders. So if the wind is coming from the right, the group will rotate clockwise. If the wind is coming from the left, the group will rotate anti-clockwise. Through and off takes some practice to get right, but the reward is a real sense of collaborative effort and shared suffering, while travelling much faster than you usually would. Single pace line is typically used with fewer than six riders or on roads that are less suitable for two abreast riding. Turns on the front are usually longer, so you get more recovery time than in a small double pace line. As before, the front rider is driving the pace along in a smooth and consistent style. The amount of time spent on the front can change from rider to rider, but the most important thing is to keep the speed and effort level consistent. Once a rider is finished on the front, they will pull out of the pace line and begin to drop back down the line in a controlled manner. You will be feeling the burn at this point, so resist the temptation to ease off the pedals completely or you may find it too hard to accelerate back onto the rear of the group. Once you're at the back of the group, the back marker will shout last rider and you can slot in behind them with a few short, sharp pedal strokes, being careful not to overlap wheels. You'll still be suffering at this point, but you're in the recovery zone now, so dig in as it will soon start to get easier. It's then just a matter of staying on the wheel in front of you until they peel off and it's your turn again always remembering not to overlap wheels. When you hit the front, remember to increase your effort in a smooth and consistent manner by concentrating on maintaining the speed of the previous rider. By now, the rider who has just pulled off the front will be hurting and if you go off too hard, they may not be able to get onto the back of the pace line. Through and off and the single pace line are great ways of traveling much faster in a group, but require good teamwork trust and cooperation from other riders. 
So next time you try these techniques, just stay smooth and consistent and you'll be a valued cog in a high-speed mile-swallowing machine.